calling Cool Comfort HVAC. Are you looking for a repair or a new installation? I'm looking to repair my AC. I'd be happy to help with that. Could I get your first and last name, please? Sure. My first name is Oscar. My last name is John. Thanks, Oscar. John, can you please provide me with the address where the service is needed? Sure. My address is 123 Grove Street. Just to confirm, that's 123 Grove Street, right? Yep. Awesome. We'll need to send a technician for an inspection. What day and time works best for you? Uh, how about tomorrow at 5 p.m.? Please hold on a moment while I book your appointment. I've booked you for tomorrow, February 14th, 2025 at 5 p.m. The technician will reach out before arrival. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Uh, no, I'm done over here. Thank you. All right, guys, so this was an AI assistant speaking on the phone. And uh, so here you can see that uh, we have also captured all the information about the call in our CRM, the name, the number, the service type, the appointment time, the address, and the status of the booking. Also, I've been notified about the call in my email. So as you guys can see, uh, here's the customer name, the service type, all the information that was uh, processed in the call. I have received the information through an email. So we can also receive this uh, notification via SMS also, or maybe through WhatsApp, any system we want. Home service businesses like HVAC, plumbing, electrical work, pressure washing, window cleaning, all these types of business get tons of calls every day. Now they might be regarding getting quotes, booking appointments, or maybe answering general questions. If a business owner answers all of these calls manually, it takes valuable time, time that could be spent on actually growing their business. Thus missing calls means losing potential customers and that can add up pretty fast. With AI powered voice agents, business now can handle calls instantly, giving customers quick answers and booking them into appointments right away is something that can significantly improve the customer experience and can also help business avoid lost opportunities. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build an AI voice agent that can qualify leads, guide them through different service options, and also book them into an appointment all automatically. Now, I'll also be sharing the templates that I'll be using in this video absolutely for free. You can find this in the resource up down below. You'll be able to access all the templates completely for free. Now, if you're wondering who I am, then my name is Manzar Lok Choudhury. I run an AI agency where we help businesses integrate AI solutions, which can help them save time or generate more revenue. So if you're a business owner and you want to implement AI into your business, then uh, you can book a free consultation call with me in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So for this video, I'll be using Vapi to create the voice agent. So if you're not familiar with Vapi, then you can check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. I have lots of videos on how to use Vapi, on how you can create AI cold callers using Vapi. And uh, yeah, so what you can do is head over to Vapi.com, create an account if you're signing up for the first time, create a free account, and then you'll see a dashboard like this. And this is where you'll set up the prompt. And the prompt is basically a list of instructions which we give to the AI on how it should behave. Okay. So I'm not going to be diving in depth uh, as I have other videos for this. So let's just jump right into the prompt. Now my prompt is divided into uh, separate sections such as the role, the task. Uh, let me just scroll down. Nice. So the role, the task, the specifics, the context, and uh, some important ins instructions also, the examples, and uh, I've also provided some scripts over here, and finally the notes. Now I've divided this into separate sections because it helps the AI yeah, understand uh, different parts of the prompt individually so that it can behave properly and accurately in certain parts of the conversation. Okay, so it's best if your prompt is big enough, then it's best if you structure your prompt properly like this. So I'm going to start off with a rule. We're just assigning it, assigning it with a rule that uh, you are this person at this company and this is how you will behave, something like this. So you are John, an experienced salesperson for HVAC repair and installation services. You are friendly and love to help customers find the right uh, heating and cooling solutions. Now this task section is for defining what they do or what they're supposed to do. So you converse with the caller, determine their HVAC needs and book them into an appointment for an inspection and quote. And as you guys have realized by now that we are building this for an HVAC company, but we can build this uh, exact same voice agent for plumbers, electrician, workers, or any other niche or industry you can think of. So yeah, we just have to adjust this prompt accordingly and just adjust some of the information over here and then we're good to go. Anyway, so let's head back to the prompt. 
Now this is the specifics and uh, this is how they will do it. Uh, how they will execute the step-by-step -step instructions over here from the task section. So you will print the caller and capture the first and last name. You will then qualify the lead by determining whether they need HVAC or a uh, new installation. Once identified, you will ask for the address and schedule an appointment for an inspection. Now we can also add some further context about the business and the more relevant information the AI has about the business, the more it will be good at answering uh, questions accurately. So the business. Uh, cool Comfort, let's say the name of the company is Cool Comfort. So Cool Comfort HVAC has over 20 years of experience in heating and cooling solutions. So we pride ourselves on customer satisfaction and guarantee quality services. Now let's head over to the next part. So these are some important instructions. So what we're doing over here is we are providing the information to the AI about the current date and time for today. So let's say if the user wants to book an appointment for let's say next Tuesday or maybe tomorrow at 3 p.m. And if the AI is not aware of today's date and time, then it will not be able to answer the information. It will not be able to book the appointment properly because it doesn't know the current date and time. Now, by default, the AI does not know the current the current date and time for today. So we have to uh, use this formula to ensure that the AI is aware of the date and time for today. So as I live in uh, Dhaka, which is situated in Asia, so it goes on like this. So uh, the, the entire formula will be same, but based on your location, you will just have to adjust this part. So as this is in Asia, it's Asia slash Dhaka. But if you are someone who lives in New York, then it's going to be America slash New York. So yeah, I hope it makes sense. So these are the examples. And uh, this is basically a script that I've provided. And these are, uh, there are two scripts over here. One is for uh, HVAC repair script. So one is for the one is for the script that the AI can follow when the user wants to maybe repair their AC, and the another one is HVAC installation script. This is for installation and stuff, right? So you can go through the scripts by yourself, and you can also access this entire prompt in the resource hub of this video, absolutely for free. Now. Uh, this is the note section and so if the ai is maybe hallucinating at certain parts of the conversation then you can add some additional instructions over here to make sure the ai strictly follows through the instructions over here okay basically consider this as a section where you can simply add some additional notes which the ai will be strictly aware of so yeah so this was the entire prompt and uh, i'm gonna head over to the transcriber section so i'm using deepgram and uh, the language is english and uh, you can use nova 2 there are a lot of lots of models over here but i think nova nova 2 and nova 2 general is quite good it gets the job done basically and uh, for voice we're using 11 labs for now but yeah 11 labs definitely has the best quality voices so you can if you are actually using this for your business then i'll recommend i'll strongly recommend you use 11 labs right now these are the settings that I'm currently using. My background sound is currently set to off and uh, these are just the basic default settings, nothing else, nothing too special. I also have uh, added a tool over here which is the set appointment tool. Now this tool or this function will be responsible for setting the appointment for, wh for when the user decides to book an appointment. So if I head over to tools, you'll be able to see what instructions I've set up in the tool so that you can copy this by yourself. This is the name of the tool. And this is the tool description that this tool will be used to book an appointment. Run this tool whenever the user has stated the date and time for which he or she would like to book the appointment. So yeah, the tool name, the tool description, and then uh, this is the booking time. And uh, this is the name of the property. And these properties will be responsible for capturing the date and time for which the user wants to book an appointment. So for this tool, we're currently using only one property and I don't think we don't, we need more than one property for this scenario. So this will contain the date and time for which the user wanted to book an appointment. It can also contain phrase, phrases such as next Monday, 2 p.m., uh, which will be stated by the user. So in this property, we're just simply mentioning that uh, he'll be capturing the date and time for which the user wanted to book an appointment. But if the user also says something like uh, next Wednesday, 2 p.m. or 3 p.m., then you'll also capture that phrase. Okay, because that phrase will also be responsible for booking. Uh, that phrase will contain the information which we'll use to book the appointment, basically. And this information will be sent to make.com using this webhook. So this is the webhook I'm using. And uh, head over to our make scenario. 
then uh, this scenario is the one which will be responsible for booking the appointment. By the way, you can access this template in the resource hub of this video. So yeah, so once you head over to my resource hub, simply download the template and then head over to your make account and then uh, select create a new scenario. And once you've uh, entered a new scenario, just click on import and then you can simply import my template and then you can just follow along with me in the video. Okay, so once someone wants to book an appointment, it will trigger this webhook. And uh, so let's say uh, I wanted to book an appointment for next Tuesday at 3 p.m. So next Tuesday at 3 p.m. this phrase will be sent out in this webhook. So we'll receive this over here, head over to tool calls. And then uh, as you can see, we'll be able to see the phrase over here, which is uh, for the demo that you guys saw, it was uh, tomorrow, we, uh, today is February 13th, so tomorrow is February 14th. And uh, yeah. February 14, 2025 at 5 p.m. This is what I asked at the beginning of the video, right? In the demo. So, yeah. Now, this chat GPT model basically uh, converts this specific information, which is next uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. It converts this specific information into an ISO format, and then it uh, passes on to this module. And basically what, what's happening over here is, uh, it's going to check over here that if the slot for tomorrow at 5 p.m. is available or not. If it's available, then it's going to book the appointment right away. And then it's going to send out a result, which which the AI will receive in during the call, which is uh, great, your appointment has been successfully booked. But let's say the slot has been booked for 5 p.m. So in that case, it will uh, check for alternate time slots for that day. Let's say for the time slot for 7 p.m. is free. So what it'll, it'll do is basically, it'll just pass on through these modules and then uh, it'll uh, send out the response that hey the slot for 5 p.m is booked but you can book an appointment for 7 p.m how about that okay so it'll generate and the response will be generated using this chat gpt module now i'll be trying to keep this video short because i have other videos which are very descriptive and uh, these are all one hour two hour tutorials so you can check out those ones and i use this same appointment setting scenario over there because it's quite effective and it works out really well so you can just check out those videos if you're going through, uh, if you're trying to go through in depth on what's actually happening on each of these modules right but the response for this uh, will be generated from this module so the response for the call which will be sent during during the call will be respond uh, will be generated by this chat gpt module so yeah so once the appointment setting process is done uh, let's head back to vapi and then let's head back to the advanced section and uh these are the settings that I'm using and if you want your uh, information to be uh, kept private then you can turn this on, uh, turn this HIPA compliance on and then this is the settings that I'm currently using. It's all default settings, nothing too much of a deal but I want you to focus on this part. This is uh, the server URL and uh, I'm basically going to be sending this to a server or maybe you can think of this as a webhook also. and. Basically, after each and every call has been executed, the transcript of the entire call will be sent to a specific webhook, which is this one, all right? And I've connected this uh, using make.com also. So if I head over to my make.com module, uh, scenario, sorry. So this is an, another scenario which is responsible for this. So as you can see, this is the uh, webhook 6XA, just to make sure that this is the same webhook. Yeah, as you can see, that this is exactly the same webhook. So what's happening is after each and every call, the data, the information of the calls are being sent out to this webhook. For example, the transcript of the call. And then we are sending the transcript to a chat GPT module and it's going to analyze the conversation of the each and every call. And then it's going to parse this into a JSON format. And then we are going to be sending this information directly into our Airtable CRM. Now we can use any CRM of our choice, maybe Google Sheets, or if you have any other CRM, HubSpot, then we can also use that. And uh, as you can see, that we got all the information from the transcript of the calls, which was sent to the ChatGPT module, and then it was passed into JSON format, and we were able to successfully extract them into the Airtable fields. So. If you're wondering uh, what are these customer names, the phone numbers, this is basically an Airtable base that I've set up over here. So if you want to create a similar CRM, then just head over to Airtable and then just create some headers such as customer name, phone number, service type, similar to the ones that I've created based on your use case, of course. 
and then you'll be able to create records just like this so just uh, head over to uh, add, click on add and then you'll be able to connect your base Airtable base and then you'll be able to see the information over here right so yeah the customer name the phone number the service type all of that uh, we send it over here and then what, what we also did was uh, we send this information as a notification system to the email to an email basically so this is the email that I'm using right now and uh, this is the subject now this is the so this is the content for this and you can customize this according to your needs and uh, this is the service type the customer contact all of the information uh, will be sent out through an email uh, you, you can set out you can just give it an assistant name such as John or anything you want it's basically an AI assistant so it's up to you what name you want to give it so this is your, your business name you can just provide your business name over here and this will be sent out as a notification through an email the goal of this module is to just uh, act as a notification system so if you want to be notified as an uh, via sms or maybe whatsapp then you can also do this too uh just head over to twilio and then you'll be able to use an sms system using twilio for this all right so yeah so basically this is how the system works and the only way you want to if you want to implement this then uh, you're gonna have to head over to phone numbers in this section i'm not going to be clicking this one because it will expose my phone number so I don't want that. But anyways, head over to phone numbers and then uh, you'll be seeing inbound assistance over here. And then once you created the assistant, you can see that the name of my assistant is full comfort each pack. So you'll be able to see the assistant name over here and then you'll just simply select the assistant. And after that, uh, once you call the number, your Twilio number or maybe the number that you bought in your FAPI account, once you call that specific number, it will trigger the assistant and, and the assistant will behave accordingly, which you have set up over here. All right so i hope this makes sense and i have explained everything as clearly as i could in this video so if you have any questions feel free to uh, leave it down in the comment section down below and uh, yeah this is it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya